Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to la, 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 Let's Play Assassin's Creed Black of Flag. <laughs> and in the last episode, baby, we started doing diving bills. Well, not like, actually, like four episodes ago, we started doing diving bills. Three episodes ago, we started doing diving bills. And we've been doing them ever since. And now, in the last episode, we were able, we got the hull upgrade. Like, it, we didn't have to dig up a treasure. Like, it, the, the plans were in one of the treasure chests in one of the diving spots so we are going to go ahead and upgrade that because that is like the most important thing is upgrading that hull armor and now our hull armor is maxed out ladies and gentlemen that's completely done and what i found also saw that our mortars too can be maxed out for whatever reason i don't know where we got the plans to get the but we did so let's go ahead and do that so now our mortars are the best they'll ever be now all that's left ladies and gentlemen is the ram strength well Everything except the two things we just upgraded. <laughs> so, and the diving bell. And those. Because we gotta, we gotta have plans for the storage. And we gotta have uh, plans for a better harpoon. But, you know, all that's later. But, ladies and gentlemen, there is one. There is a, uh... There is a treasure chest that we have. That, you know, I know I said I was going to, uh... Wait until we got all the treasure chest charts. Uh, treasure charts. Are we playing Wind Waker right now? Do we got all the charts together before we went looking for the treasure? However, there is one treasure location that is in, uh, it's in this place. I, th I think it's in here. In this, you have to do the diving bell to get into it. And the thing is, I don't want to have to go through the diving bell again. So if this is, it'll come up on the, the screen saying that, oh, this is a location for so and so. God, I took 50,000 for the hull and mortars. That is ridiculous, man. But everything else isn't... I mean, the RAM's pretty expensive, but it'll be okay. But yeah, uh... If this is what I think it is, if this is the one I think it is, then I definitely, definitely, definitely want to, uh... It might be. Well, it doesn't say yet. But then again, we're not out of the diving bell yet. Well, we were out of it, but we don't have control of our character. Okay, let's see here. It'll, it'll come up right here. Fast travel. Okay, come on. Anything else? Like, is there a location for treasure here? Maybe. Maybe watch out for the urchin. Ah, yes, I have a treasure. I just linked this location. God, I remember this so, so well. <laughs> I don't know about that, but anyway. God, these urchins, they just, they took refuge in here, didn't they? Looks like the freaking... <laughs> God. <sighs> should I say that? I don't know if I should say that. Yeah, go ahead and say it. Looks like freaking... Oh, look at the... oh okay, excuse me. Looks like the, uh... Florida, man, it looks like Miami Beach in the 70s with the Cuban immigration, Scarface. Anyway, there we go. Got that animus fragment. Let's get the heck away from the <laughs> the eels before they murder our face off. That's a lot. You know, that wasn't on my list of things to do today, ladies and gentlemen, was get my face murdered off by a freaking eel. But, you know, the sharks just about took care of that for me. Oh, uh, let's see. There's nothing that woke. I think the Kurtz, but yeah. Woo, there it is. All right. Okay, we got a we got a thing. We got a thing. We got a thing. We got a thing. Slow down. We got a thing. Where is it? There. Hey, right in front of me. Right in front of me, dog. Shady, wait a minute. That's my girl, dog. I don't give a f God's. Eh, never mind. The um. I was watching Nightmare on Elm Street the other day, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Why am I thinking about this? I don't know. But this is the first thing. Back in the day, when I was a kid, I used to, you know, when people talked, I used to look at their faces, you know, because their expressions, like, mattered to me or whatever. But, uh, oh, we don't have any weapons here either, ladies and gentlemen. We had to ditch them for whatever reason. But, uh, our, our fists are just as good as any weapon. Um, no, shh, don't, don't whistle! You don't want them to know you're here? Anyway, so the treasure chest. But anyway, I was watching Nightmare on Elm Street. And good lord, wait, hang on, we'll figure out what the, the number is for this thing. Can I back it up all the way? Crap. It's, uh... Oh, great, it didn't really... It's about, it's about 40, 480-ish and 480-ish. Oh, crap. Should have looked at it before I got out. Okay, so, anyway, I know which one it is, anyway. This one. Is it? No, I don't think. That one. That one. That's it. The 480 ish ones. Okay. The elite fire barrels, huh? The ones, the things I never use. Okay, so whenever we gotta climb up something, it's gonna be right there on the right. Alright, oh, wait, there it is. It's right here then, huh? <gasps> Look at that! Look at that! The elite fire barrel plans, right there, right in front of us. 
Anyway. I used to look... Oh, that had to hurt. That had to hurt. You, you can't play that off, dude. You just broke a lock with your foot. You are ridiculous. Anyway. I used to watch their mouths and like what was going on, but recently I've been... Uh-oh. Oh, this one has one too. The sun's here. Yeah. Yeah, it's right over there. Dang straight, dude. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's that's really nice, Edward. That's really good. It's right over here. Kill him. What's up, guys? How you doing? Oh, can I double kill these guys? That'd be great. I'm about to say, holy crap, if he doesn't know. If he doesn't even realize what's going on. I'm pretty sure another one is attached to this place. That's crazy, dude. If two of them are attached to this place. But I'm pretty sure it is. I feel like it is. If I ever get the story told about the freaking Nightmare on Elm Street, I would be one happy man. But no, it was a completely different one, though. But I thought it was the... It looked like the one that, uh... Okay, maybe it's just one. Like, I thought it was this... Uh, where is it? This one. I thought it was this one right here. Because... But, okay, obviously. Because the sun's coming through the top. That's that's what I thought. Oh, there's an Animus Fragment up there, though. Um... Anyway, what am I talking about? And Oh, yeah, Nightmare on Shut up. Well, dude, this might be it right here. Dude, it might be! It might be attached to this place! Which wouldn't make a whole lot of sense, but... Because this clearly isn't... No, I, I doubt it. I really doubt it. I really doubt it's attached to this place. I really doubt it. Yeah. It, it, that is a nice place to... Or it's kind of like a little kind of cove thing. See how this... I mean, it's just kind of here, you know? Anyway. It, God. Not right on Elm Street. I used to... <laughs> I used to, you know, really just care about what they were saying and what was happening in the movie. But then as I started to appreciate, you know, the way things look, like hair, for instance. What's up, man? Nothing. You dead. That's what's up, girl. Alright, give me that. that that's, this was more of the easier... Finally, what?! No! I don't think so. Get off Get off the edge, dude. That's right. He's still alive. He's not gonna climb back up here, is he? What?! Did he just... Teleport into the... Freaking... Oh, it doesn't matter. We're done. Anyway. The game is destroying itself. Uh... He did. He, he swam right... Can, is it like a glitch? Oh, oh, no. I thought he swam into the rock. It looked like he swam into the rock. The, um... Nancy's hair. Like, I tried to Google this, and I didn't find anybody talking about it, but I, like, when I was watching that movie, I... Her hair looks amazing, don't you think, ladies and gentlemen? Like, do you ever just stop and look at how thick her hair is, and, like, just how much it's just is the way it is did you ever just stop to think about that ladies and gentlemen her hair is magnificent in that movie and i want my hair to be like hers i i, I doubt i have the uh the follicles and all the you know the thickness to pull it off and you know it may have been done up a little bit you know maybe just just a smidge i mean they are making a movie after all maybe it was done up a little bit but man i just god her hair looked nice i thought oh my god and I tried to think about it in my mind. I'm like, okay, um, let's see. She's a girl, and this was the 80s. So back in the day, I mean, even today, girls are growing their hair out from the time they're born. Like, I was forced to cut mine. You know what I mean? My mom didn't want me to have long hair, and she made me get it cut. But, you know, now I've started growing it out. I'm thinking, okay, even though my hair's long, she has, like, she was, what, 18 or 19 at the time the first movie was done? She had 18 years on me for her hair to, like, catch up with itself, to get, you know, as full as it did. You know what I mean? And I may be thinking about that the wrong way, but ah, I, th I think in 18 years, I think my hair will be pretty thick. I don't, I don't know. It's it's just the, ma the way I tried to explain this to Micah, but I don't even know what I'm talking about, really, was... You know how when you uh, wash your hair and it falls out? Well, you know, when you grow your hair out, then you get it cut a little bit. You know, you get it trimmed. You grow your hair out, get it cut. Like, there's more hair that is the same length, which means it's going to add to the thickness of your hair. Does that make sense? Like, there's more hair that is the same length that's, in the, you know, in the same place. Your hair is going to be thicker. Now, you got to understand, like, that's only maybe a couple of hairs at a time, you know, that's good. I, I did not mean it. I went left. I swear I went left, ladies and gentlemen. But, and you know, you think she had 18 years to kind of get a leg up on me from that. So it's like, well, 
So, like, I want my hair to be thick like hers, man. And I think it can be. It's just a matter of... I mean, obviously, it's not thick right now, because I've got... Obviously, a head... Ow! I've got a head, uh... Headset on, and it's kind of pushed... And I've got my hair kind of pulled back. But I, I think I can pull it off. I think I can do it. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to do it. I sure as hell am gonna try to do it. Because I love her hair like that. It's beautiful. And I saw a recent picture of her. She cut it. Not like a lot, but she, she did cut it. And, uh... I mean, she still looks nice. Heather Langenkamp. Yeah, that's her name. Heather Langenkamp. Okay. Well, this is going to be fun. We got to go this way, and then we got to loop up, and we go that way, and uh, great. Fantastic. Fan-freaking-tastic, Sam. More stuff to do. Still more to do. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get filled up on our air barrels here. Dude, if she wants to go, if she's, like, not busy, Heather, she wants to come party with me and talk about her hair, I'd love to. I would so make her some coffee and uh, hot cup, <laughs> and I would uh, take her out on a nice date. Show her how nice people can be. I, she may be married though. I mean, if she's not married, I mean, she, she probably should be. I mean, cause she's she's beautiful. She's very pretty. And you know, I don't know why girls don't like being told that. Maybe it's a. So if you tell a girl she looks very nice, I don't know. I don't know. I think using my inductive deductive reasoning, my scientific method. I think I've decided that whenever you tell a girl they're pretty, it it gives them an opportunity to be uh, what, what's the word like not the, the opposite of modest. They can either say thanks or I know or like it gives them an opportunity to be uh, what do you call that? Where you know they act uh, I don't know, I don't know how to self not self centered or self but self-absorbent would be would be probably a synonym of the word it you know it gives it gives them a chance to be excuse me mr. eel excuse me I'm glad I saw you it gives them a chance to be like a, a jerk <laughs> the female version of a jerk and say like yeah I know and then they want to avoid that so they don't know how to take it and it, conf it confuses them <laughs> they don't understand and they, they don't know what to choose and it's a uh, I don't know, and then they get defensive about it. That's, that's the only way I can think about it, or the only way I can come to you. It's like, if you tell a girl they're beautiful and they don't know how to take it, they don't know how to take it because they're, they're either not confident enough in themselves to appreciate it, or or it, it's they see it as a, a way of being... Okay, I, if, if I can think of that word, I will think of that word probably before this this video ends. And I, I'm, I'm... Oh, no, my life shoot. Dude, oh, Mr. Ah, bad jellyfish! <laughs> that reminds me when I was in college we, or we had the coolest RA his name was Adam and uh, he, he I mean he was he was getting married which was his first mistake but uh, he was the funniest cat in the world he uh, he was so relaxed I mean I think he was a senior and he uh, and I was just a freshman you know coming in oh my gosh don't kill me but uh, oh god oh god I dang jellyfish I touched the bulb I didn't touch the Oh. Anyway, he's like, dude, what's up? Give me a hug. And I went to give him a hug, and he's like, oh, big jellyfish. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, so stupid, but so funny. Speaking of that, when I was in college, there was this one time that had I been the way I was now, oh, God, had I been the way I was now, this guy probably wouldn't. There, he wouldn't have left the scene of the crime. Let's just put it that way. His body would have remained. I was a uh, freshman, obviously, and I was crossing the... Oh, car time. Sorry about that. Thanks for watching. Keep Ralph in the store in the next episode. Peace.